Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Welcome back to another lesson in our free mini course on making Divi responsive. So in this particular video, we're going over the sizing settings. So a lot of the sizing settings can be kind of the same in all the different modules, sections, rows, and things like that. But there are a couple we're gonna highlight that are different based on different, you know, on the row or different modules and things like that. I think this is going to be helpful. There's some things here that we definitely want to optimize on different devices. All right, let's get started and check these out. Every section, row, column, and module has a sizing toggle in the design tab. And these settings are pretty much the same. I found them to be almost identical in almost everything. So across Divi, so that's great. So in, in here in the design tab, sizing. So here we have all of these settings. And again, these are very similar. I've, I think there's a couple instances where we add something here and I'll get to that. But the first one is width and then max width. Then we have that alignment that we talked about and then min height, height and max height. You're gonna find them in every module, row, section, column. So if we're in the row, this is where I use it the most. I use it a lot in the row because we gotta go in here, like let's say we wanna make the row full width and anything like that. That's where we find these settings. So in the row, we get a couple extra settings here. Use custom gutter width and equalize column heights. Now those are not adjustable per device and that's, that's okay. So width, this one I do use a lot and I use it for making Divi responsive. So let's say here I have, I want 80% to be the max width. Well, the width, the max width is set to this. So if I change max width to 100%, it's saying 100% of this. So let's say I only want the actual width to be 60%. You can see that there's a lot of space at the sides here on desktop. And if I was switched the phone, that just would not look right. Uh, what's going to happen is it's going to switch to one column. And depending on your screen size, if it's a lot smaller than this, your text is going to be really stacked up here. Here it doesn't look too bad, but let me tell you on most phones, this, this preview size isn't very accurate, which is why we made our plugin, the Divi Responsive Helper, and you can adjust this. We could be adjusting this right now. So 60%, let's change this to 90%. And that, that's gonna work out real well in a lot of cases, having it at 90% on phone. So you can adjust each of these for mobile, and then you know you have the, the width and the max width. So the min height, that's um, something that I actually have done recently, and I've used that recently because what I did was I went in here and had buttons below the blurbs. Okay, so what you, what I just did was make these all uneven. And you may be saying, what's this have to do with making Divi responsive? Well, I wanna show you a trick. All you have to do is go in here and find a min height that works really good. Go to the min height and I say a, a number, throw a number out and you know that's a little too high, but 250 like that and I say I really like that min height, what I can do is make this n not have it on phone. Okay, so it switches to auto. So I wanna make sure that I have these tabs open so that when I'm applying it, it's not applying it to all of them because if I didn't open this up, the three tabs, it would be applying it across the board. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna click extend. And we're gonna, um, extend this min height in this section, okay? And you'll see here real quick what I'm doing. See how I aligned the buttons. So we don't want this big space on phone, right? Of course not, so we only want it on mobile. So what we've done by having that, um, having the tabs open, you can see that everything stacks nicely and doesn't have this huge space here. But on, on desktop, we wanted it. So that's just another example of using sizing to achieve a responsive design. Okay, so another one here in the images, something that isn't really in Divi per se, but it is it is a feature of Divi, but it's not in this builder. So if I'm adding an image from the media library here, you'll see down here at the bottom, it says size. And right now it says full size. But 
here you have options to pick thumbnail, medium, or full size. So that's just something I'm throwing in here as it relates to sizing. Um, you know, it's kind of as similar relates, but it's not necessarily for responsive. But let's say I had, um, I wanted to have a certain size image on desktop and then on phone. And you could actually go in here, like I showed you earlier, replacing it. And let's say on phone, I didn't want, I knew that it wasn't 800 pixels wide. So I could go in here and pick it. And then let's say I want it to be medium, right? So on, on mobile, I'm optimizing it by having a smaller file size loading. Okay, do you see that? So on desktop, it's showing the 800 pixel wide one, but on phone, it's only showing the 300 pixel wide one. It looks the same, but I'm just saying that's one way of optimizing sizing here using the image. Another one in the blur module, let's say I was using an image here for my icon, something like this, and I go in here to the sizing, you'll get a new, a new tab here, it says image width. And that's this for this image for the blurb here. So let's say I only wanted this to be, you know, 20 pixels wide. It gets really small. So that's a new one that adds there um, for the blurb image. Another one it adds here in the blurb is this content width. And this one has always kind of bothered me. It's a really strange one. And I'm just going to drag a blurb down here and make it in a full width row just to show you. Well, I would I want this to go full width. So in the sizing, we have this content and it's it's set to 550. All you have to do is go in here and put 100%. You see that? So you can do that. And that's and again, I'm just showing you the extra settings that are added in the sizing for different modules. And the blurb has these extra ones. Now another type of sizing settings is is font size. So not I'm not talking about text font size, but like icon font size. So in here, in a blurb, if I have an icon chosen, so I'm in here in the blurb and I have an icon selected. So here it says use icon size and that's just on or off. You don't get an option for, for tablet or mobile, which I wish they did, but you can control the size. So if I want this to be, if I wanted this a lot bigger, on desktop but then on phone I don't it's way too big for phone you could adjust the icon font size and that would you know that would change based on the device you could also find that different modules for example here in the social media follow you could say use custom icon size and then this is going to be really handy I've done this a lot on desktop I want this bigger and then on a different device I want it smaller you can do it with the testimonial. So this icon here in the testimonial is pretty small. So, you know, you could make it a lot bigger and then change that per device. You can also do that in toggles and accordions. So, you know, if you're, it's the exact same setting, a lot of times you'll want to change that, especially if you have a bigger title on desktop, you want the icon size to be kind of comparable. So another module that has a, a type of sizing setting is the divider. So I just added a divider here and under sizing, we get divider weight. And again, of course, this is adjustable. So, you know, feel free to adjust that for different devices. And then in the menu. So this is kind of important, especially as a lot of us are using the menu module for our headers. So we added a logo earlier, but if we go into sizing we get another couple options here we have a logo max width and a logo max height so these are additions and you know these are helpful as well and of course they have the responsive settings there are other modules that have these i'm just showing you some that come to mind so um, again these are settings that are added in the sizing area or that have something to do with sizing and making divi responsive Okay, so that's a look at a bunch of the sizing settings for making our sites responsive there in Divi. Be sure you're putting this to good use, and we'll see you guys in the next lesson.